storing your ratchet straps. Uh, this is the bundles that I've got. Uh, and you could throw these in your bag or hang these up on your wall in your garage. Uh, excellent way to store these things. Let me show you how I do that. Okay, so this is the larger size, uh, maybe medium. Either there are larger sizes than this. I'm only going to show this medium and then the small size. Um, so with this particular one, this is the Husky, uh, just like any ratchet strap, you're going to feed in the loose end through the slot and then immediately back up and over your working line. And we're going to store this, so I'm just going to bring it all the way up. Bring that hook all the way up. There it is. And then we're going to hang it from this direction here. If I had a hook, I'd just hook it on there so I can, can see this. You don't want any silver right up here. You want to be able to ratchet that so you can see right there, you can see some line. And so I can, when I pull here, you've got tension. When I pull here, now I could work with that. That's exactly what we're looking for. So close this up, pull that all the way up. Next step is just simply to loop or wind up the rest of this excess into about a five or six inches, you know, probably six inches is better. And then you just want to wind this up. Uh, we'll speed this up. Okay, we're all wound up and now we're going to make some adjustments because when you look at this, uh, there's some excess down there at the bottom. So to adjust that, I'm just going to take the loop and just roll it in closer like this. And I want the bottom to be right about there, maybe, see, right there. Because we want to have enough room to double this up on the other side. So where you're pushing it in through is right through the handle right there. Not through the inner one. That's for the smaller version. But for the larger one, you want right there. We're going to push it in. And when you pull it, it should not go all the way through. That's the reason why. Uh, and you could probably adjust it right about. That's a little bit too much. So let me back that off. Right there, right there is good. Okay. Now the other side you're going to double up. So we're going to double that up like this. And then you're going to wrap that portion around and hook that through just like that on this side. Now this one's a little bit loose, but you can play around with the tension on that. That's essentially how I wind it up. And the little one works very similar. And I'll just show you real quickly when I unhook this. Oh, that's got some tension on it there. Okay. The little one is similar, except it does go through that inner handle. So if this is broken, uh, it's still not a problem because you can just double it up or you can just play around with it. And gar I guarantee you, no matter what, whether the handle's broken or not, you'll figure out a way to uh, make this work. So yeah, for the smaller one, it does go through there. And it's the same thing. You just wrap around and then uh, one more time. And then you, there we go. I had to make some room. And then it goes right through the handle and you've got your nice tight little bundle. I believe this one over here does have a broken uh, inner handle on it and I was still able to bundle it up. So that's how I do it. Thanks for watching.